quiet, isn't it? Aye, not a beak or feather have stirred since early this noon. Very odd. I was sure that devil iron beak would lay some kind of trap. Odd or not, the sun's going down, so we'd best get our prisoners outside if we want this exchange to be done. Formo, just to be safe. See that archers and javelins fill the main doorway behind us. Ooh, don't he worry, ma'am. Us'll give him Billio if a name moves a claw. Take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these birds bound like this? We have not tethered your creatures. Probably because mice don't have beaks and wings, Pudnead. Ah, I will not stand here and be insulted by this hedge pig. Then stand somewhere else and I'll insult you there, featherbag. Don't provoke them, Ambrose. Let's just get this exchange over with. Ah! Not so fast, Stripe Dog. I make no exchanges while we are faced with weapons. Tell your creatures to put down their arms. So you can spring your trap the moment we drop them? In fairness, Ambrose, he is unarmed. And he has kept his word. So far... All right. But if the Raven or his pal make one false move, turn the pair of them into pincushions. Do as you will. We have come here only to trade hostages. No tricks. Let's get to it. I will be here till dawn break. Let the exchange begin. But one at a time. What? First, the infant for quick move. Church mouse for Diptail. <laughs> and finally, the troublesome one you call Cornflower for Brightback. Are you all right, Cornflower? I am now. Understand clearly. My attack continues, and I will rule the great redstone house. It is my destiny. Warriors greater than you have tried, but we're still here, and our own warriors will return and drive you off. That's your real destiny. Ah, you think you are such clever beasts. Well, didn't it seem strange that my fighters were not with me to witness the exchange? Oh, nuts and acorns. I knew it. While this tiresome exchange was taking place, some of my birds were in your orchards loading up on supplies. <gasps> the rest of my army took over your infirmary and dormitories. So all you earth crawlers have left is the place you call Cavern Home. I hope you like it. Because if you leave, we'll slaughter you! No one outsmarts General Ironbeak. No one! <laughs> It certainly is desolate. Yes, but Slagar's tracks are still quite visible. How far ahead do you think they are? About a day and a night, I reckon. So, there's no time to rest then. Afraid not, old chum. By the left! Quick! Mark! There's something up ahead. Can you see what it is, Sam? All I can make out is some sort of a shadow, with a dark line in front of it. it might be a mirage, or... Could it be an oasis? An oasis? 
Maybe, but whatever it is, we should be there in a couple of hours. Let's keep moving. It is an oasis! Hooray! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Let them run. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> for anything like this. Bargained? You either cross this bridge or stay on this side and die of thirst. Decide! Now! Cynthia, just hold my hand and trust me. Good. You're doing very well, Cynthia. Are we there yet? Almost. Ah! <laughs> it's all right, Cynthia. Stop struggling. <laughs> Everyone is concerned about our situation, but we can't do anything about it until we have order. Thank you. Now, Constance, what is our situation? Well, Iron Beak's birds have taken over the upper floors of the Abbey, but we are still quite safe in Cavern Hole. We have plenty of stores, the larders are full, and we have a well-stocked wine cellar. Our only shortage is fresh water. There's enough for drinking, but not for bathing. Yay! No baths! No baths! I'm glad someone approves. Well then, it sounds like we can hold out for quite a long time. Hold out, yes. But how do we get out of here? <laughs> Out of the mouths of baby beasts. <laughs> Plants. Yes, that is what Matthias would say. We need a good plan. Well, I was thinking, sir. If you can't go out of Abbey, why don't me and my moles tunnel out? Why, Mr. Formo, I think that's a splendid idea. Indeed it is. There's no telling what damage we could do if we tunnel out without Iron Beak knowing. Yes, but in the meantime, I suggest we barricade the stairs into Cavern Hole. Iron Beak will soon realize that if he is to conquer Red Wall, he must attack us down here. Agreed. So let's get to work. 
Right then, up and at it, boys. Come on, Moles. <sighs> Beastly hot, don't you know? Huh. Quick march, indeed. We should have traveled by night instead of listening to you all flop ears. There isn't enough time, Cheek. We need every available minute we can muster if we're going to catch up to Slagal and our youngins. First, there's a buzzards. What's next? They're coming back! <gasps> look along! And look! Now there's three of them! That's not a buzzard, it's <laughs> Sir Harry the Muse! I got him! <gasps> well caught, sir! My pleasure, don't you know? <laughs> Oh, pray accept my apologies, sir. My conscience was bothering me, so I had to take to the air. Now I am back, as you see. Well timed, Sir Harry. Thank you for your help. But you must have another reason for flying all this way to be with us. I get tired of being alone. Can I come along with you? I've heard you talk of your home. Could I live at Redwall, too? Hmm. Pesky bird would eat us out of the Blinken Abbey. Basil, courtesy and good manners cost us nothing. Ah, well, in for an acorn, in for an oak. I suppose he could join us at Redwall. Save me getting the blame every time a mouthful of food goes missing, what? Hmm? Ooh. Ooh. I knew you would see things my way. It's settled then, it's done. And if the food goes missing, I'll say, blame me, sir, I'm the one. Hmm. <laughs> Count on it, old chap. <laughs> Matthias, remember that line we saw on the map? Mendes, my seer, are the pictures becoming clear in your mind again? That my vision is still clouded by the mouse that wears armor. I am not relying on dreams anymore. Soon now, I will think of an idea. Ah! Then think quickly, Mendes. By the time the brown leaves blow and the wind grows cold, I want those earth crawlers to be only a memory as I rule in my great redstone house. Now, is water's a thing we's needing most? I'm a thinking us'd better tunnel to pool next. By the fur and claw. How are we going to cross that? Though I'm the most poetic of birds, right now I'm at a loss for words. Hear something? <gasps> Stand back, if you please. Look at here. Now for a serve. Fresh water aplenty. <laughs> well done, Formal. As much water as we need. Hey, sir. Enough for drinking, enough for scrubbing, too. <laughs> ah, uh, my general, last time I was in the Great Hall, I saw a picture of the mouse in armor on a great cloth fastened to the wall. So, how can this help us? The Earth Crawlers. They seem to value this picture highly. <laughs> if they saw us trying to take the big cloth, 
They would come out of hiding to protect it. This is a good plan, Mengiz. My strong right wing. Now come with me. The time has come to put an end to this siege. Prepare yourselves for the final battle and victory! You two, see that picture? Destroy it. I swear it would be easier to float a stone across a river than to get these creatures across this great dark pit. That fox thought of everything, didn't he? Matthias, I have an idea. Do you think our owl friend could fly down into the gorge and cast his eye about for the remains of the bridge? Overrun the work of a moment, dear sir. To a useful fellow like me, I'll chance a flight down there. We'll see what we shall see. The bridge cast over the edge, complete with slats and all, hangs from a rocky shelf which juts from the canyon wall. Well done, Sir Harry. All I need is one of the long ropes. Uh, do you need a knife, Sir Harry? Oh, what need of a blade have I? No sword or knife do I seek. I am monarch of the sky, with fearsome talon and beak. Why are there no birds singing? You're right, Cynthia. There's no sound at all. Even Slagar doesn't look too happy about this place. Supposed to work, Jess. Ready to show him, Matthias? Ready. All right. Hold tight now. <laughs> Nothing to it. I don't know, Jess. I'm awfully big and heavy. Oh, stop fussing, you great lump. We'll do the others first. <laughs> Now let us reap our reward. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Matthias. My scouts have picked up the trail. Yes, it looks like plain traveling. What are those two dark rocks out there? Oh, no! and javelins and pull the barricade aside no <laughs> was too 
easy. Hmm. 